Hi guys, welcome to another video and in this video I really want to show you how you can very quickly make a super cool coloring book for Amazon KDP or for selling it uh, for example digitally on Etsy uh, any way you want to do it, you can do it. It is super simple and I know that right now KDP and generally the Amazon selling something on Amazon is a very hot topic so I'm, I'm just guessing it's gonna really help you while creating such book. So first of all the illustrations I'm going to be creating for my book interior will be generated by using Leonardo AI. This is a, a very cool AI uh, image generating tool which does not cost that much. I, unfortunately I don't have any discount code for you. I, I also don't believe uh, I could get one right now. Yeah you gotta pay some money but eventually it will pay off. Uh, I'm sure about that. It's about 12 bucks a month but you can actually buy Leonardo once uh, generate as many images as possible and later even after the end of the subscription you will still be creating those coloring books those um, digital pages and anything you want all right so first of all a few settings you gotta make sure are checked while uh, creating such book illustrations uh, this is the like a simple example prompt I'm gonna be using for uh, creating the coloring book and the coloring book is going to be about the Shiba dogs. Um, I just know, I just randomly picked it up. Okay, so Shiba Inu coloring page, outline graphic only black and white colors, white background. So we're gonna copy this phrase and also uh, one thing you just gotta check is the alchemy mode, right? So uh, we're gonna be writing our prompt here, okay? And right now we can use Leonardo Diffusion. I believe the Leonardo Diffusion is one of the best models here you can use on Leonardo AI because generally you have like a different models that will uh, react differently on the prompt you are putting in. Uh, so Leonardo Diffusion works really good with the alchemy mode. Yeah, what is the alchemy mode? The alchemy mode is something that will actually boost the quality of the output image you're going to receive. Um, unfortunately, I cannot check it right now. As I mentioned, I did the same thing I was recommending to you. I bought one time subscription for just one month, generate a lot of illustrations, a lot of images. And right now I'm going to be creating many, many coloring books um, after that, All right? So, uh, but yeah, just check the alchemy mode and click on generate. And one more thing uh, you just gotta do, you just gotta make sure uh, you've done before generating such image is to go here in the dimensions as uh, we want to simply go to the uh, dimensions I was using uh, 512 by 672 pixels and these dimensions are more or less eight and a half by 11 inches proportion and this is like the most common um, aspect ratio for creating coloring books on Amazon and this is also super popular because I believe this is standard uh, letter print size in the US and that's why this this actual ratio uh, is so popular among these books. All right, so you're gonna be sure you have the alchemy mode checked and then use this um, aspect ratio. So generally 512 uh, by 672 pixels. I'm not going to be checking that. We don't need that. Okay, and the images should more or less look like this. Uh, some of them will uh, be actually colored a little bit and maybe you don't need to throw them away. You can actually use them for creating a very, but very cool um, cover for your coloring book, all right? So um, I remember that when I was generating the Shiba images, uh, also there was like a one more, yeah, as you can see, a little bit colored image and I used it to create a very, very cool cover of this coloring book that you actually also see on the thumbnail of this video. All right, so after you um, downloaded some of these images, so let's say we're gonna do the coring book with the five images, um, because this is just an example video. Of course, you can create it with a lot more, so like 20, 30 images, um, as many as you actually want. After you downloaded them, what we're gonna be doing is simply going to the website called Vectorizer AI. And this is the website that generally will convert our image, uh, which is filled by pixels into a for example, SVG or PDF file, which is an actual vector. And if you don't know what the vector is, the vector basically is a graphic where there is no the actual size. The graphic can be as big as you want uh, because it is made out of like a mathematical um, equations, mathematical algorithms, something like that. I'm, I'm also not expert in that, but 
generally the graphic can be as big as you want. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to simply upload this one of these images or actually all of them you want to be uh, in your book and put them into Vectorizer AI. So I uploaded an exemplary image uh, as you can see here. First the upload is going to be loaded then um, the Vectorizer needs some time to actually process this image and convert it into vector graphic. And right now you can see the difference when you uh, will zoom in here you can actually see how beautiful it looks while it is factorized so there is like a no quality drop anyhow you can zoom it um, as big as you want so yeah after we're gonna convert this image into um, the actual vector you're gonna click on download and then you will export it into PDF so you can just select the file format to PDF and then click on download. So I'm going to be um, doing that right now. So yeah, let's download it. And the graphic is now downloaded. What we're going to do next is we simply will uh, change the website to the convert PDF into JPEG files. And why we are doing that, I'm going to explain you in a second. But right now, you can just trust me and go to the, uh, for example, I love PDF.com. This is a very good website for converting any kind of PDF files and we're going to be converting the PDF into JPEG files. So uh, let's just click on select PDF and click the PDF you just downloaded. So then uh, these few options will come out. Um, actually what I want you to do here is only to change the image quality for high as it is since this is also free why not to use it as high as it can be right. So uh, ch change the image quality to high and then click on convert to JPEG. And now you can just download this JPEG file so you've just converted from your PDF. So basically right now I'm gonna explain you why we did that instead of, for example, saving this file as a PDF uh, or actually saving this file as maybe um, SVG file. Um, because right now we're gonna be moving into Canva where we'll create the actual coloring book. And we change the format to JPEG and like a high resolution JPEG because when you will click here and you will actually put this image into actual page, uh, you can see that Leonardo AI does not exactly uh, create these images black and white. They include also a bit of shadows here and they are not so perfect to color. Actually, this image is is already quite good but it can be much better but when it comes to other images um, maybe I can show you some examples later but when it comes to uh, other images sometimes the difference is really huge and, and it will be so hard to, to color for people so what we gotta do is simply click on edit photo and adjust and basically if you are uploading a PDF or a SVG file into Canva you won't be seeing these options here yeah you cannot just edit this um svg file the vector file in canva but you can edit the photo and since the photo is already like a super high quality uh probably after printing this coloring book there will be no difference in like or any quality drops when it comes to vector or very high quality jpegs like really trust me uh, the difference would be if, if you would need to create some some kind of a billboard or or things like that but um when it comes to like a small coring book on amazon it doesn't make a difference all right and we're going to be click on edit photo then go to adjust and go to this light sections and two options can really improve the coloring page quality you see here uh, so we're going to just be increasing brightness a bit to like um emphasize the all of these white colors and then you will need to um increase the contrast of the image why contrast because contrast if you don't know what the contrast is contrast makes the image like the image whites become even whiter and the blacks become even blacker right so that's how contrast works and we're going to be increasing this contrast uh it's gonna be lagging somehow this features in Canva are really laggy, but you can see a uh, difference already here, right? So the image is much brighter and and for, for kids or adults that will buy your coloring book, it's going to be a lot easier to, to color. So that's why I do it this way. Uh, obviously, um, when it comes to people, everybody has like a maybe slightly different approach, but this is mine. And you will just click on add page and create like um, 
I don't know, five or six of these pages or even 10, 30 pages. And this is how you are creating the actual coloring book for Amazon or for Etsy, any other website. I just wanted to mention that the page dimensions are eight and a half by 11 inches. Uh, so yeah, I was not recording while I was creating this in Canva, but you can see here when you click on resize, this is what you want to do. You, you want to go with eight and a half by 11 inches and click create project or something. And then you will be able to creating this amazing coloring books on Canva. So guys, I hope this video was a really quick one, but really informative and full of useful information you can use to make a lot of money on Amazon. Uh, the Q4 is coming very, very soon. So um, educate yourself as much as you can and generate as many images as you can create a lot of great coloring books and simply make a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching. See you again very, very soon in the next video. Bye bye.